It's pyramid escape time. Everyone pick the hardest difficulty. Let me face the peril. Hmm. This has been updated since the last time I've played it, so I'm not sure what's changed. The initial start has definitely changed, because you've got longer to travel before you can get here. What? How many of these have we got to break through? Why would he do this? I feel like maybe this has been updated and the guy was just trolling. <laughs> this is like so unnecessary. What is he doing? <laughs> it, this reminds me of when someone gets hold of a map and says, I'm going to make all these cool changes to it. Yeah, there's a lever here. I guess he's trying to... This is like a tutorial stage, suggesting that there's something else that could speed up the process. Or maybe not, because these doors are still here. <laughs> this is the most silly start ever. It'd take like... Imagine putting this so it takes like 15 minutes just to even start the game. Okay. People be dying. What is... Hey, Toby Blue, thank you for the sub. Ah, we get to pick our games now. Alright, don't just spam into anything. Just try to think about what's the most fun ones. Typically, some of the most fun games are the ones where you're getting chased. But I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Boulder Dash sounds like one that could be similar to it. Like the Crypt Lord chases you as well. There's a Crypt Lord one that chases you. Do I like the new patch? It seems cool. The tower defense is really long, so don't pick that one really. Stop and go is always a bit of my favorite. Getting the timing on that. Crypt Plunder could be it. Blade Labyrinth looks kind of fun. Maybe you can only have one flag. It's not giving me another flag. So I think that might be the way it works. That one. Tone Battle? Oh, I remember that one. People just spend all the time getting the tone, so I'm going to be one of those guys. So this is a bit like an Ufa Party kind of game. You like, you go as a group and you have to get through these challenges. Don't fail six times, otherwise you've, you're out. You've got like 34 levels or something. Reach the end without getting crushed. Oh my god! Oh! I need a little bit more warning! <laughs> We've got like one person left. Alright. That moved quite fast. <laughs> Didn't... What have we got now? Oh no, spike traps. So we've got to work as a team on this one. We need some sacrificial lambs, basically. My ping. Yeah, 250-ish? Oh dear. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel that smooth when clicking. It feels more like old school bet on it. So the guy's from the USA. So it's all part of the testing process, isn't it? You probably do want to stick to games that are in the EU, but worst case scenario, if you did see a game that you really wanted to play and it wasn't another server, you can at least join that. You just might not necessarily get the best ping. Probably better for cust uh, tower defense maps. This is hardly like a difficult map to play though. So a high ping on this map doesn't make too much of a difference, apart from those situations where you're trying to avoid a boulder. No one could react in time. Oh. Oh. Notice how everyone will rush when they get to the end. Oh. So two were okay there. I'll take this one. Wait, wait, wait. No, that one works. I'm not taking that one. Hmm. Well, yeah, it would be suicide to go there. <laughs> this is the last dash. 
We've got enough people to survive now, so who wants to take the credit? Yeah! No! How did we fail? There was two of us left! I didn't get hit by those spikes unless they've got a massive area of effect. I moved straight to the right. Oh, we ran out of time, did we? Ah, bugger. I didn't even realise there was a time limit. People go, why did you not know? You don't, when you're playing the game, you don't notice like all the other bits that are around. Okay, reach the end without being caught by a red light. <laughs> I love playing games that I haven't got any experience with. These game, this has been updated because this does seem better than the previous version of Pyramid Escape. That's what you get for rushing. Because it's part of the fun. You don't realise it's part of the fun to just try to get ahead of everyone, but ignore whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. Right, reach the end uh, without hitting more than two blades. Someone steps in the button, everyone who's alive warps there. Oh, okay, so it's more of a teamwork one. Go, 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 go. Let's go, boys. Okay, maybe a high ping is pretty bad for this map. Seeing as quite a lot of these games seem to be quite dependent on how well your character can respond. Well, we can't fail this one, can we? This looks easy, this one. Wait, where's that going? Ow. So many people rushing, I love it. Go, no, don't block me! <laughs> We're blocking each other from being impatient. No! And then there were three. I love this because this just is the epitome of greed. There's no need to rush like this, but it makes it so much more fun when you do. Very clever there, Nigel. That was some patience. Undead Siege. Destroy the enemy's dark altar in six minutes without dying. I think we can just bum rush it. Try to bum rush it. I'll just go whatever does damage. Rawr. <laughs> Let's go, boys! It does look pretty tanky. I'm sure we killed it way quicker last time. I think that works on buildings. May as well use it at least once so I can have my mana regenerating. Light altar is invulnerable. So we can't lose. They can fight all the way to the right and then the computers that just spawn in will keep them busy. So as long as there's not too many of them over here. Keep going boys! Have we run out of heals? I'll do one last war stomp and then we've got to go for this. Oh. Dark altar going down. Allies are falling. But it's got so little health left now. Boom! Oh, I haven't got any plans for a chipper moat, Rustler. We won. I actually don't know how many lives we have left. This is eight. Okay, so we can... Life's out of challenges. Okay. Survive without getting killed by the... Okay. Oh, this... Yeah, I really do take it back. High ping is very bad. <laughs> I'm up to like 270 now.
we shouldn't too stand on the same spot, really. So get off my spot is what I'm saying. This is my house. Ah. Oh. <laughs> We've got five seconds left, boys. Oh, come on! What? Now, how's it gone up to five minutes? <laughs> he got stuck at four minutes 42. <laughs> this is so rigged. Reach. <laughs> the end. The floors raise and lower every few seconds. Activate the switches to open the gates of the portal. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Do do do. I can't attack. <gasps> wait, 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 No, 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 Stick to the north, then. What? <laughs> we are failing so much. Oh, here we go. I can't get to the... Get me to the front. If you hit a web, you'll slow down. Go, boys. Why? Almost like he tried to walk into the web there. Go, 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 go. How are they getting past that web? That was cheeky. Hell, you are not getting hit by that web. I don't know. Like, you just went right through it. Look, they're going right through it. They're getting fucking rewarded for just laziness of right clicking through the webs whilst I'm carefully trying to avoid them. Let me face the peril for honor as you wish. It shall be done for honor. It shall be done for honor. I'll use my slow on him then. You guys speed me up. Because I don't know if I can speed myself up. <laughs> yeah, you have to boost one person, otherwise there's no way you win this. And you have to slow that guy. Well, oh, GG! <laughs> what? <laughs> We are crushing this. Five more goes. At least we got a fair few tries. Avoid this. Oh, this is where you build. Oh my god. You just have to like build in one main area, really. And try to bulk it up. But good luck. Because these are doing a lot of damage, as you can see. I'm probably just going to die in a second. Trying to avoid this with that ping is like... Yeah. No. Let me have my buildings. You swine. It's calmed down a bit now. Now oh, this is nice and relaxing. 
I was expecting it to say failed. Hey. Kill the enemies before they reach the magic generator. Oh, this is where we normally lose because people just keep clicking on the wrong one. Stepping on switches will kill an enemy of the same color as the nearby rune. Stepping on the color, no enemies of that color are present. Will damage the generator. <laughs> this is how you get kicked. So that's yellow, that's green, that's blue. So we need someone to step on the blue. I've got red, I guess. I gotta say, this is not the hardest challenge I've ever seen. Why are people just dying? We did it. Ah, uh, you, you step onto the wrong one. I see. So you can't troll too hard. Bridge of Flame, dodge the fly, fireballs and reach the end. This one's short and sweet. Bridge change in 20 seconds. Ow! <laughs> oh, nice dodge. Oh, wow. Until you walk back into it. He's in the clear. <laughs> Another 11, 11 seconds. You may as well just wait until all the bridges go up. Preston's in charge now. That's a home run. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be that guy. What would you ask of me? Quiz of death. Take your places. Go to your places. You will take turns answering questions in a clockwise order. That means I go last. Pressed. It's up to you. Right. <laughs> but it's that was just a demonstration. How many green spiders? It's a good start. <laughs> Sit, keep going, boys. Be as quick as you can. Tougher. Yeah, it's not a trick question. Might be easier to turn health bars off here. Need the text on the left hand side. blue spiders. I only had to. I only had to count to two. We need like 500 more gold, boys. But we've got a minute. Well, no, we need more than that, actually. 
My bad. I thought I needed a difference between 500 and 1,000. How many blue ghosts? I see three. No, there's four. There was one inside of the other one, just as I said that. <laughs> I was trying to be too fast. This gateway is a... Uh, well, I'm playing on Northrend, but we've joined a game that a US person from US West or so-and-so uh, has hosted. Although, I did join a game earlier that was hosted by US West. And I had 32 pings, so maybe the guy who hosts the game can determine the ping for everyone else in the game, which is a bit unfortunate if that's the case. But I think that is how it would be, because it would make sense. That's how it always used to be. If you hosted a game and you've got terrible ping, everyone else is going to have bad ping. <laughs> oh, we, ch we failed another challenge. What's the chances of that? Oh, this is the blink one. This is quite hard to do because, one, the hotkey for it is N for some bloody reason. Or maybe Q. It says Q in. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm taking damage despite not fucking standing on those. Oh my god! And the ping is awful. You gotta do this. This is actually. I really take back what I said earlier. I've already taken it back, but I take it back again. This is like one of the worst kind of maps to play with bad ping. It does make it quite entertaining though, as you see, like he blinked there. And you know on his side, he intended to blink before it hit him, but because of the ping, it just goes right through. Kill the skeletons so that they are down at the same time. We should stay on the high ground here and let them go on the low ground. So if you like form a line, then you can sort of keep the skeletons down. Bashes the skeleton with your shield, causing 20 damage. Okay, they're spawning in here, but if we kill these ones and then form a line. I know they'll spawn more. Offense causes you to attack faster. Sure. Bashes the skeleton with your shield. That's good versus a particular big skeleton, if we have one to deal with. Oh, okay. So some levels are just stupidly easy. But this has definitely been made harder since the last time I played it. Mostly because it's buggy, but it's kind of funny. It shall be done for honor. The ghost will teleport to a random circle every few seconds. Uh, I might watch the others play this one. And then make a move. You can attack the ghost? I thought the ghost doesn't attack you. What is this? This is the best Warcraft 3 custom game I've ever played. Oh, we are supposed to kill the ghost. Okay, fair enough. Alright, no, it makes more sense there. Although there's two of them now. Well, we need to spread out and have like two people in each zone. Oh, well, well done. So there's 18 left, and we've got three lives left. Oh, the nest spawn corpses that you can animate. You can use different spells to empower your spiders. Gives nearby allies 25% damage. Raises six dead units. The raise one might be better. We've got to boost our skeletons. Ah. I wonder if I went over there and... Will there still be corpses? Let me try. No, there's no way to know for sure. Yeah, there's a corpse. Okay, now there's a way to know because there's a bloody corpse here. I didn't get to see it before because I only just saw the skeletons go up. I didn't see the corpses there in the first place. Feels good. Either way, you've got to wait for them to all rebuild, which is way too long. I think this one is rigged. We never were able to beat this in the old Pyramid Escape. And this one doesn't look like it's, uh, it's going to be much different. It's like some of these haven't actually been tested. Maybe if you can keep avoiding the spiders, 
and just have people spread out and run around and regenerate their mana so they can recast reanimate. But even then, it seems a bit of a stretch for this level. So maybe the person joined the US West region, but he was actually living in Europe, so he was a European server. Well, I don't know. This is stuff we'll just have to work out over time, how the ping is affected. The choke point's kind of nice. <laughs> Still looks way too hard without, like, some insane coordination. No dropped frames, boys. Feels good. <laughs> We're down to two lives. Not even Nigel Odeon can save us. Travel up the corridor before the enemy explorer reaches your port. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we taking damage from going? Okay, whatever. Use bombs to destroy the trees. Bomb. I thought you used to be able to pick up. There we go. Yeah. Uh, use bombs to destroy the trees. Where's my ability? B. I can't reach from here, unfortunately. Oh, that's going to take time, boys. Slow and steady wins the race. Do you want to know how to be... I'll be really annoying in this. Let's do that. But people aren't getting too affected by it. <laughs> yeah, some custom... Some uh, levels in this are better than others. we still got quite a long way to go. No, you have to beat him. Beat him to the point. He's invulnerable. He's going to win, to be honest. And we can't even go really any faster than this. It's so rigged. It's so rigged. It shall be done for honor. For my friend, as you wish. Uh. Kill all of the hungry scarabs. You lure the scarabs into the lightning bolts. Lightning bolts strike the ground every five seconds. I see a scarab. Do you see a scarab? <laughs> oh my god, they hit hard. And they got incredible range. <laughs> this looks like another difficult one. 
I'm not against it though, because the original was too easy. You would originally have to team kill a lot of the time just to sort of make the games challenging. A bit like how Kodo Tag was. <laughs> Those pincers go far. Well, this is one pyramid we won't be uh, spoiling today. The riches inside will remain untouched. We have failed. Good game, guys. Good game, well played. Good job. Except tainted. Everyone else, though. Well done. Thanks. Good point. Cheers. <laughs> Top score! Whatever that means. And tainted bottom score, so maybe that is actually accurate, that scoreboard. <laughs>